All right, so let's kick things off by adding a cylinder to the scene. I'm dropping the vertices count down to 12 because honestly, you don't need anything crazy for a bottle shape. And I just scaled it until it started matching the kind of bottle I had in mind. Once that felt right, I moved on to the neck. I selected the top face, inset it a little, and then extruded it upwards to give that classic bottleneck shape. Super simple, no rocket science here. After the basic shape was ready, I added a subdivision surface modifier on top just to smooth everything out. And to bring back those crisp edges, I threw in a few bevels wherever the shape needed definition. And that's basically our outer body done. Clean, simple, and ready for detailing. Now we'll make the inner glass. And this part actually makes the bottle look realistic, so don't skip it. All right, now to create the inner part of the bottle. Just follow along with me. First, I added a loop cut somewhere near the bottom. This basically decides how thick or deep you want the liquid section to be. You can place it higher or lower depending on the vibe you're going for. Once that was in place, I selected all the faces from the top down to that loop cut and then used Shift plus D to duplicate them. After duplicating, I scale them slightly inward so it sits inside the bottle perfectly. And once that looked right, I hit P, then separate by selection to turn it into its own inner mesh. Now here you can tweak the inner shape a bit, make it narrower, rounder, whatever matches the style of your bottle. And finally, I filled the bottom face of the inner body and added a small bevel to give it that smooth curved finish at the base. And that's pretty much the entire inner glass done. Super simple, but it adds a ton of realism. Now, let's finish up the fluid and the bottle cap. And honestly, these parts are pretty straightforward. For the fluid, I'm following almost the exact same steps we use for the inner glass. I duplicated the inner shape, scaled it slightly so it fits nicely inside, and adjusted the height depending on how full I wanted the bottle to look. Once the shape felt right, I filled the top face and added a small bevel to it. That little bevel helps break the sharp edge and makes the liquid feel way more realistic. After that, I quickly modeled the bottle cap. Nothing fancy here, just a simple shape that complements the bottle without stealing attention from it. And with that, the bottle, the inner glass, and the fluid are all done. Clean, simple, and ready for materials and lighting. All right, now that everything is modeled, let's set up a clean base for the product. I started by creating a simple base, basically an infinite background, so the bottle feels grounded and studio-like. Nothing fancy here, just something clean that keeps the focus on the product. After that, I positioned the camera and adjusted the angle according to what felt good visually. This part is totally subjective, so take your time and find an angle that shows off the bottle nicely. For lighting, I'm actually keeping it super simple. I'm just using a single HDRI, which you can download from Polyhaven and plugging it straight into the scene. Now, you might notice that after applying the HDRI, the scene has a slightly warm tone. To fix this, go to the world shader, add a hue slash saturation node, and set the saturation value to zero. This completely desaturates the HDRI turning it into black and white, while still keeping all the lighting information. And with that, our scene setup is done. Clean background, solid camera angle, and simple lighting. In the next part, we'll move on to the final textures and label design. All right, now let's move on to the texturing part. For now, I'm keeping things simple and adding a glass material to all the meshes, except the bottle cap. Nothing fancy yet, just clean glass so we can see how everything reacts to light. Next, 
I made a small but important change to the inner glass. Since it needs some actual thickness to feel realistic, I added a solidify modifier on top of it. And yeah, instantly, it looks way better than before. After that, I moved on to the fluid. I played around a bit with the color, just tweaking it until it popped a little more inside the glass. Nothing overdone, just enough to catch the eye. And honestly, at this point, it already looks really good. Next up is the bottle cap, and this part is super simple. I'm just giving it a solid black material with slightly low roughness. That's it. No extra textures, no overthinking. The subtle reflection is more than enough to make it feel premium and realistic. Sometimes keeping things minimal just works. All right, now let's work on the label. For this, I duplicated the outer faces of the bottle body and separated them by selection. This gives us a label that perfectly follows the bottle's curvature. After separating it, I added a subdivision surface modifier, but only from the bottom outer body. If you apply it carelessly, it can mess up your UVs later, so this part is important. Once that was done, I deleted the back faces, so the label actually feels like a thin paper sticker wrapped around the bottle, not a full shell. And finally, I reshaped and scaled the label until it looked visually balanced on the bottle. This part is mostly eye-based, just adjust it until it feels right. Now, since we duplicated the bottle body for the label, it's still sharing the same glass material, which we obviously don't want. So first, I assigned a completely new material to the label. Once that's done, we can actually start setting up the label shader. Inside the shader editor, I added a mix shader and an image texture node and loaded the label image that I created earlier. Then I connected the color output of the image texture to the factor input of the mix shader. After that, I plugged another principled BSDF into the second socket of the mix shader. What this setup does is pretty simple but powerful. One principled BSDF controls the text part of the label, and the other controls the paper base underneath it. Once the shader is ready, the last step is just UV work. I went into the UV editor and aligned the label properly until everything sat exactly where I wanted. And that's basically it for the label part. And lastly, let's set up the final scene. And honestly, this is the easiest part. I'm not going to explain this in too much detail because it's mostly creative. You can simply follow along and recreate it by watching what I'm doing on screen. At this point, everything is already done. We're just arranging the scene to make the product look its best. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. We went from a simple cylinder to a clean glass bottle with fluid and a label, all inside Blender, no overcomplicated stuff. If you enjoyed this tutorial or learned something new, make sure to drop a like. And if you want more videos like this, product modeling, materials, lighting, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.